Next one, it's a delete function. I'm turn on my terminal. Uh, back on our resource users controller. Let's carry on and uh, add a new function that's going to delete the user. Request response. Same boilerplate as usual. So here we're going to do a um, variable to hold the result. We're gonna await for this uh, uh, function to return. So delete one. And here it's going to be the ID. And as you we can see here on the database, this is how the ID is saved with the underscore when uh, when you create the when uh, mongodb creates the database for us it adds this underscore so we need to use that so id will be uh, the params dot id so here we are deleting one and it's asking for the id we pass in the ID, which is uh, we're gonna get it from the requires require uh, the request dot params. After this, we just need to send the result back. So let me just actually copy this block over here, there, and also the error. So let's get the router before we forget and then it's the delete can uncomment and then it's user con controller dot delete user there you go so we're getting there so now we have our basic crud we create we are reading from the database and we are updating and we are deleting now there are two more things that we need to do, which is one, we get that user profile, which is like most application, we want to show the product or the user page, for example. So this will be a basic uh, get, as we did over here with the, as we did over here with the get users, but that is gonna look uh, for the user by ID we're gonna create the user dashboard as well that means the user that is signed in like his own profile we're gonna create um, we still need to do this uh, get and the dashboard so let's uh, commit this crud delete there we go 